So good morning. Uh, this is teacher Jacob. This video is for uh, sixth grade. So uh, now uh, remember in this unit four, we are studying. We are studying about a school, especially the subjects that you like. Okay. But before that, I want us you listen and let's practice a little bit uh, some units, you know, for example, unit one is about commands that we studied last class. Uh, let's go uh, practicing the numbers. It, it is for this uh, unit two. Do you remember the numbers? Can you say the numbers in English? One to one hundred. Okay, it's, it's very simple, but we need to practice. We need to say numbers. So let's practice. Let's let's uh let's practice this uh these numbers. Let's go and see how is it going. Okay, so you're gonna repeat these numbers with me. Pay attention because it's not gonna be in order. It's gonna be a disorder. It's gonna be in different. For example, I say three and then you repeat three okay very simple it's not complicated because i want you tell me your telephone number and you need to say your telephone number my telephone number is similar like when you say in spanish when someone in spanish asking you excuse me uh, what's your telephone number and then you give your telephone number okay so let's practice. Let's go. Listen and then repeat these numbers in English. Okay? One. Let's go. Zero. Three. Eight. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty or twenty, twenty three, twenty eight, thirty or thirty, thirty three. Thirty-eight, forty or forty, forty-three, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-three, fifty-eight, sixty, sixty-three, sixty-eight. Careful, seventy. Seventy-three, seventy-eight, eighty, eighty, eighty-three, eighty-eight. You see? Ninety. Ninety-three, ninety-eight. One hundred. One hundred twenty-one. One hundred twenty two, one hundred twenty three, one hundred twenty four. Repeat one hundred, one hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three, one hundred four. You see, now you need to answer the question. Excuse me, can you answer this question? Question number one, it's what's your telephone number or what's your phone call or what's your cell phone? So you need to answer for me. My cell phone or my telephone number is 3 Three twenty-two eighty-six 
38. You see? You, you, it's similar like when you say it in Spanish. What is your telephone number? What is your cell phone? What is your mobile phone? And even sometimes some people say, what is your mobile phone? Excuse me, what is your mobile phone, please? And then you say, my mobile phone is 313-322-8638. Okay, very quickly. What I want is you practice and you tell me your telephone in your house. Okay, so please don't forget. You need to tell me your telephone number. Something else that I want you to tell me is very slow is your identification card, okay? So what is your identification number for you, okay? So you write the number, write the number, your telephone number or your mobile phone and also your identification card, okay? Today, uh, on page uh, 44, we're gonna study grammar. But later, uh, we're going to have another grammar class and I will explain to you something that you need to know about grammar. But let's do it today. Today, we, are, we need to understand, we need to understand uh, how to say in English, not. So, in English, so in English, we have we have we have um some 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 we have some in english we have some special so one word to say not in english so we for example no in english this word, we say, don't. So, this is Spanish and this is English. Notice that. In Spanish, no. No tengo hambre. For example. No quiero ir a jugar. Here is different. No quiero jugar. I don't. I don't want to go to play soccer, for example. So my suggestion is learn that don't is similar to say no in Spanish. You see? But we're going to say don't. Here is what you need to understand this. The word no in, in, Sp in English we use all the time, or we are using for some pronouns, and that is what it counts now, because we use we use don't for the pronoun I, you, we, and they. Okay, so notice we have don't for I, you, we, and they. Understand that? Let me explain better a little bit. It's very slow. In Spanish, perhaps you understand better. So, in Spanish, and then we go in English. Vamos a hoy aprender a decir no en inglés. Entonces, para decir no usamos la palabra don't. Entonces, en inglés no usamos no. Bueno, algunas veces se utiliza, pero en general, la mayoría de veces, cambiamos el no, el no, y lo vamos a utilizar en inglés don't. ¿Sí? Eso por un lado, o sea, yo debo entender que la palabra no en inglés se dice don't, don't. Y que la palabra don't se utiliza para cuatro, pronom para cuatro pronombres. Entonces, 
el pronombre I, you, we, and they. Cuatro pronombres. Eso es lo que hoy yo a, 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 digamos, memorizar. ¿Cómo decir no en inglés? Entonces, no se dice don't. Very simple. Eh, no quiero comer. I don't, I don't want to eat. No me gusta, por ejemplo, no me gusta las matemáticas. I don't like mathematics or mathematics. Eh, no me gusta, no me gusta la carne. Por ejemplo, los que son vegetarianos. No me gusta la carne. I don't like meat. You see? I don't like meat. Eh, nosotros no queremos... Eh, no queremos... Eh, ¿Qué? No queremos jugar. Fútbol. Nosotros, we, we don't, nosotros, no, we don't want to play. We don't want to play soccer. We don't want to play soccer. Nosotros no queremos jugar fútbol. Nosotros no queremos eh, nadar. We, we, we don't want to swim. We don't, we don't want to swim. No tengo sueño. I don't have, I don't have, no tengo sueño. I don't have, I don't have sleep. Or I don't have Well, I don't have a dream. It's possible. No tengo sueño. No tengo un carro. I don't have a car. So, this is what I want you to understand. ¿Cómo decir la palabra no en inglés? Don't. Primero. Segundo. La palabra don't la vamos a, a utilizar solamente para cuatro pronombres. Para I, I don't. You don't, we don't, they don't. Entonces, a, por ejemplo, vamos a, a, a aprendernos la palabra yo no sé. I don't know. Yo no entiendo. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yo no sé. I don't know. Or I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. Okay? Now, let's go to the book. Let's go to your book on page 44, please. And let's see what's going on. Let's see what you need to understand about it. So, in this, grammar expressions, you need to say likes and dislikes. Notice this. This face... Read the extras and underline the verbs draw in the icons. So this is the verb. Look, hate, like, and let's do it for this. I hate science. So you need to write one of these faces. For example, I hate science. Is this, 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 or this? You choose one. If you want, you can write the numbers. For example, you can write one, two, three, four, and then say, okay, I hate science. Is this number four? So you write number four. And then you don't have to draw the face if you want to. You don't like mathematics. You don't like mathematics, okay? You don't like the mathematics. Is this, is this? You don't like mathematics. Oh my God. We like arts. So, notice this. Uh, 
grammar on page uh, 131 and to understand this complete the table with the words so number two it's complete the table with the words from the Saturns in activity one subject I I hate math you like art you like drama remember hate hate is odiar como no gustar ok entonces hay dos formas podríamos decir que la palabra don't o podríamos decir el verbo odiar hate hate es odiar hate el opuesto de amar sería hate ok so don't forget that All right, and uh, let's go now to the next step. I mean, what you need to do here is to say uh, if you like or you don't like. So you, for example, you need to say, I don't like math, I don't like geography, or I like uno positivo y otro negativo. Listo, aquí colocas uno positivo. Me gusta la matemática, no me gusta... El español, I don't like in Spanish. All right? All right, so after that, uh, uh, notice this. Look at this face, esta, esta carita. Tienes que decir si le gusta o no le gusta. O sea, usar la palabra don't. Unscrabble the prompts and write the messages. Messages and Saturdays. Esta carita está diciendo que le gusta los sábados. Entonces, I love or I like Saturdays. Esta carita que está diciendo. Mm -mm. Este símbolo es de matemáticas. Entonces, B. We, ¿cómo se dice no en inglés? Don't. We don't like mathematics. We don't like mathematics. We don't like mathematics. C. So, C. What is this? This face is like a... Not really. It's like a... They don't like or they don't love or they hate. Recuerda que también tenemos la palabra hate. Odiar. La palabra hate. This is hate. Esta palabra podríamos decir que también es como una palabra no. Hate. Es como podríamos decir que es un no porque es odiar. Hate. Podríamos decir en este caso, we, uh, they, perdón, they hate Monday. Mondays. They hate Mondays, for example. D. Mrs. Johnson, Johnson, Mrs. Johnson, not is this, it's a happy face, algo que les gusta, entonces, Mrs. Johnson, we like Mrs. Johnson, o sea, Mrs. Johnson, aquí sería la señora Johnson, entonces, nos gusta la señora because of the face, por la carita, ¿no? Y aquí tienes que colocar, en number four, tienes que colocar, or write positive, In this, love, una oración de, con love. Por, recuerde que la palabra love, si bien significa amor, también significa gustar. Entonces, por ejemplo, a mí me gusta el espagueti. Entonces, I love spaghetti. ¿Ok? So, me, write the phrases and that's all. And uh, that's what you need to do. Exercise number three. Four and five. Okay? Five is compare your questions and answers. I love Fridays and I like um, PE, physical education. And what about you? What do you like? Okay? I like Saturdays and I love English. I hate Mondays. Now you, what about you? Okay? So this is a, uh, uh, a exercise speaking class, but it's going to be for the next class, okay? Next class, we're going to have a little conversation 
about this this topic about what you like and what you don't like okay uh, what we like and what what we don't like so i'll see you teacher jacob bye bye